Hello again, back on the Silk Road. Yesterday we made our way from Istanbul right to Anatolia, the center of Turkey. Turkey is like, as we said, the gateway country of the Silk Road to between Asia and Europe. And now we are in Ankara, the capital of Turkey. It was a very long ride and today we experienced what this capital means for the entire country because it is a symbol of national pride for Turkey due to you can find see hinter, uh, behind us uh, the mausoleum of Atatürk Mustafa Kemal called Atatürk as I just said is called father of the Turks and he's a national symbol for entire Turkey because he created what is nowadays known as the Republic of Turkey. Ankara is, is like his vision and he, he made Ankara to his capital, in, to the capital of Turkey in 1923 and since then Ankara as a city really took off. So when Ankara became the capital of Turkey um, the population was just about 30,000 uh, inhabitants and since then it increased dramatically. So today here are living 5 million people. So you can say in the last 19 years the population uh, increased uh, 10 to 15 times of the population in 1923. And it's really interesting in the old center of the city so in the old Ankara you feel like in a small village tiny houses old um, brick and wooden houses and in between uh, the big historical citadel of Ankara and yeah when you're standing um, on top of the citadel and you look all around uh, the city um, so in all directions the city goes really till the horizon with uh, many flat buildings and in between this really old little village uh, and yes in, in the 1930s also Austrian or let's say German speaking architects and uh, urban planners were invited by Atatürk to um, yeah, uh, plan different buildings and uh, one really important architect was Hermann Janssen, a German architect, uh, who made the first sketch of the new city of Ankara. So he was the urban planner for the new city of Ankara. And, and as we will see, Ankara is one out of three capitals in the world that was really planned on from, from the beginning, from the, from the blue from the blueprint on and Ankara was one then there was a second one Brasilia and I will not tell you which one is the third one because we will visit the third one on our trip along the Silk Road and we will come to that later but you can maybe already check it out and take a good guess about it yes and what's really interesting uh, is, is that it is a city of five uh, million inhabitants but it feels like uh, you're a, in a much smaller town you can say because it's a new a new planned city and there uh, the traffic is organized um, the, the, the public transport is organized so you really feel in a city like with 1,000 in, inhabitants it uh, doesn't feel that big and yeah, what else we have to say about Ankara? About Ankara probably that it is, as we said, an important crossroads inside of Turkey. There is now also a new trail, a train connection towards Georgia and Azerbaijan uh, across bypassing cars. And we will check out these train connections later on our trip. And tomorrow we are heading towards the Black Sea coast. <laughs> Ich werde mich jetzt nicht mehr auf den Kopf.